Sugar is obtained from two sugar crops, sugar cane and sugar beet. Sugar which is obtained from sugar beet is less sweet than cane sugar. Sugar cane is a thick, tall grass that grow in tropical and subtropical regions. Sugar synthesized in the leaves of the plant and then sent to the stalk for storage. There is a sweet sap in the stalk that is a source of sugar that we all know. Sugar cane take about 7 months to mature in tropical and 12 to 22 months in subtropical areas. Once they mature, they are harvested. Harvesting of sugar is done by hands or also done by machines. In Florida and Texas, standing cane is fired to burn off the dry leaves. The harvested cane stalks are sometimes loaded mechanically into trucks and taken to mills for processing. Once the cane arrives at the mill yard, it is unloaded and excessive soil and rocks are removed. Cane is cleaned by flooding the carriers with warm water or by spreading the cane on agitated conveyors. At this point, cane is clean and ready to melt. Juice Extraction Two or three heavily grooved crusher rollers break the cane and extract a large part of juice. The pressing process involves the crushing the stalk between the heavy metal rollers to separate the fiber from the juice that contains sugar. Purification of juice The juice from the mill is dark green in color and turbid. The clarification process is designed to remove soluble and insoluble impurities. For purification process, milk of lime is added that neutralize the acidity of the juice and form lime salts. Then heating is done to separate the proteins, fats, waxes, gums and other minute particles. The impurities are separated from the juice through the sedimentation process. Known sugar impurities are removed by continuous filtration. Next process is concentration. To concentrate this juice, about two-thirds of water is removed by vacuum evaporation. Four vacuum boiling bodies are used for this purpose. This concentration process produces a syrup that contains 65% solid and 35% water. Next is crystallization. Crystallization is the next step in manufacturing of sugar. It is done into a single stage vacuum pan. Uh, the syrup is evaporated until converted into sugar. Crystallization continues and the product is slowly stirred and cooled. After crystallization, then it is sent to centrifugals to separate the raw sugar crystals and molasses is done in revolving machine. This sugar is then sent to granulator for drying process. Next to the final process is drying and packing. Moist sugar crystals are dried by heated air in granulator and then placed in storage bins for packing purpose and then sent to the market.